Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello everybody and uh, once again welcome back to my channel How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. And I'm just re-wetting the sky around these mountains. at this indigo and Prussian blue stronger version indigo Prussian blue burnt sienna sorry so burnt sienna was also in the other one now, if you're really enjoying these videos, uh, please click the like button. It does help with uh, smaller channels to get them seen, deepening it up in areas. Always remember it will dry a lot lighter. And I just want to take a little tiny bit of Prussian blue on its own. Very weak throw it in the mountains. Hardly noticeable. Taking some streaks out. Naples yellow, yellow ochre, Naples yellow into the trees, a bit of yellow ochre in there as well, yellow ochre and lemon yellow, I also want to drop in an earthy green, yellow ochre, lemon yellow and the sky colour just dropped into it. Which is the uh, indigo, Prussian blue, burnt sienna. Strengthen it up in areas. Touch of burnt sienna with burnt umber. Into the path. sky colour just to unify it okay and then we're going to let this dry okay now that that's dry coming back to these mountains once again I'm just going to re-wet them I'm going to put a shadow side onto them Some of the sky colour. Taking some clean water, softening it all off. We're just going to let that dry. And taking some of the sky colour once again, I've just watered it down a touch and made it a little darker. I'm just going to see if we can bring some shape. And some rocks. Almost dry brush and just let it catch the little just let it catch the little bumps in, <clears throat> in, the, in the paper. If you want a gully, shape it like a gully in a, in a U. You see how you get the shape coming? Just 
Just adding some really nice interest to your mountains. This brush is almost dry. See how you get that hit and miss effect. That's really what you're looking for. I'm just going to let this dry and then we'll put the background trees in. Now your mountains are dry, I'm just going to re-wet the background. First line of trees here. Once again taking some of your mountain colour or your sky colour, indigo, Prussian blue and burnt sienna and just start above the tops here. That might be just start above the top of the water, might be a little strong so I'm going to add some water to that and just pull it in. I've got the board set at an angle don't have them all the same size As you come further into the distance as your brush runs out of paint it will start to fade for you automatically sounds like we have a bit of thunder rolling in just a tiny tiny bit of detail they are close enough to have some I also just want to drop some yellow oak into that just allowing it to turn to green Ooh. looks like we're in for a storm down and then we're going to leave this row of trees to dry once again some clean water some of the sky color once again Once again, just dropping in some yellow ochre and some of the earthy green. <clears throat> Made from yellow ochre, lemon yellow, and um, your sky colour, and then knocked down with a little bit of burnt sienna. Soften it in. I'm just going to let that dry. Once that's dry I'm just taking some of the sky colour once again and I'm just going to put this few evergreens, fir trees in here. So I'm just going to pull the tops out making them all different sizes. and blue indigo with some burnt sienna in it I'm just using a rigger brush for this just to get the tops moving just to get them going and we'll move on to a bigger brush it's a bit watered down this because I want it to be slightly further back my goat hair mop brush brush don't get too much paint on the brush 
don't get the brush too wet. When you see the brush disappear, I'm just taking the excess paint off the tips. And I just want to add maybe just a touch of the earthy green, not much. <laughs> just to give some slight variation. I just want to take a little water and just run some along the bottom of the trees, just undulate it, just a little stronger of the sky colour as we come down into the, the tree trunk and just drop it into the water. to this one here. Once again just bringing the tops out. Then moving on to my bigger brush, goat hair mop brush. Otherwise it would could take you all day with the uh, with the rigger brush. some of the earthy green, popping it in, just slightly stronger. I just want to put a bush in here. And just soften that in at the bottom. So I'm just adding, just thickening up the uh, sky colour, just making it stronger. Just come here, just check it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Once again, just bringing the tops out. Stronger version of the sky colour just means thicker paint, so it allows it to come forward a little more. Strengthening up the top, I think, just to make it stand out a bit more. And I'm going to take a rich dark green, very dark indigo, Prussian blue, lemon yellow. But this has a lot of burnt umber in it, just to make it really, really dark. Soften all that down along the path. Pencil, tremaine and burnt umber. I just 
just want to pull some sticks and twigs through here. Next set of trees. You really dark mixture again. Indy gold, Prussian blue with uh, burnt umber. Once again, taking some of the dark green and adding that in. Take some clean water, catch the bottoms of the trees. Shadow, some yellow walker. Check some of the dark green as well. Just mixing the colours now. Leaving it all a little bit rough. Bringing the same thing to this side. Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber and Burnt Ultramarine. And which is some water, I'm just going to pull this all together. So the path melts into the grass. And as we come up here, Colours should start to tail off. Just taking some of my darker green colours, maybe it's a couple of grasses in here. A little burnt sienna. So I'll put the tops on some of these bushes. some shadow. Start to put our little walker in. And I just want to put some rocks and pebbles in along this path. Some of the really rich dark green. Just pulling out a few grasses. I want this to be a little quiet area here. I 
just a little shadow. I just want to add a little bit more definition to this bush here. hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please click the like button and subscribe subscribers are always welcome and it's free and clicking the like button helps with the algorithm that Google use to see whose videos get seen or don't as the case may be now this is where you get around to the best bit this is where you get to sign it mount it and frame it so I hope you've enjoyed this video so once again I'd like to thank you all very much for watching I'll see you next time. Thank you.